Hey guys! Uh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Dogwood333 and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. And this is a game created by Team Salvo. And, um, I don't know why I'm playing this game. Um, I guess I'm more used to, um, I basically played the, the New Order for the last month or so for YouTube. And that's basically a visual novel version of Boy 4. So, um, you know, it's only natural. As we see, we have three cute anime girls to choose from. Um, and we'll see what happens. Um, it's one of the results. I don't know. Settings. No game. Let's do it. <laughs> it's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Muhammad! Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We get used to we used to walk to school every together every day, and recently we picked that habit up once again. <sighs> Muhammad, are you proud of me? Huh? For what? You know, for walking up, waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh huh. But you never said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please! It's good motivation! Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sir. <laughs> we crossed the street together and made our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Muhammad, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not... I started to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining in clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell you that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! Mmm. You meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I felt I should probably do something special for her. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gather my, gathering my motivation. Let's see. We called the room number of the club from a uh, flyer I saw. I walk up to school and upstairs a section of school, a really visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Muhammad? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh, I glance around the room. Huh. So you're the Muhammad... You're the Muhammad guy. That's I always, always was talking about. Uh, th thank you for stopping by. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you, Muhammad. We're the Literature Club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna flink, think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name was probably is apparently Yuri, seemed to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Mahabit, don't tell me you're. That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. L the Literature Club. Sayori's lies. Light up. No way! No way! <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori thinks is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. <sighs> Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! 
After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry! Ooh. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk to the corners of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? That's, that's... Uh-uh, it's 1am. I've been recording all this series ever since like 8pm. 8, 8 I'm, I'm getting tired. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts with foil off a tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing! <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the first one and then I follow. Mmm, it's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and already has managed to get icing on her face. I turn to the cupcake around my finger, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, uh, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Oh, don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Are you trying to impress our new member, Yuri? <laughs> That's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know... I believe. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Oh, I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Muhammad, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Mm, manga. Fuck it. I'll, I won't bullshit. Manga. I'm under quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, completely passionate about her reading. Passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I, let a, I like a lot of the things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Well, about... You know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Tsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it! For some reason, Nitsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides... Manga... It's literature too, you know? So if Muhammad wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice of us to diversify ourselves a little. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Muhammad? But maybe! Sensing the tension, Sayo jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it be, could be fun, and we all all get to know each other a little bit too. I mean, that's the kind of literature clubs things literature clubs do, right? Uh, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, y you're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that can make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then, as for you, Yuri. Huh? I... I have to read manga? Jeez. Y you were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If, 
if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something you really like, okay? <laughs> Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just... just yourself? Uh... Would you like to come along with me? Um... If you don't mind... N not at all! I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. That's a green... You already start to clean up the food. Eh... <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Muhammad. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a, a bit, little bit better with you around Sayori. Ah, uh, Muhammad. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. <laughs> we're gonna make it the best club ever! Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Muhammad. I, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm I'm really happy you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to... <laughs> oh, no. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monic... Oh, no. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Muhammad. <laughs> I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about all of the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Oh god damn it. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. Am I gonna have to... With you... Forever and ever... F... O R E V E No! Okay. Eh? What, what's happened? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It, it hurts! Uh. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Muhammad. Goodbye, Literature Club. <laughs> Slenderman? Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? I can. <clears throat> Who the fuck is Hi, this? It's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And. Not really any good at it yet, like, at all. Is this Monica? But, I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. Okay. I'm down for some piano. Uh... This is a banger, goddamn. Please don't copyright strike me, Doki Doki developers. Just to find that special day. Mmm. So I think that was Doki Doki Literature Club, everyone. Um. Have I found everybody a fun assignment to do? Uh, Dan Silvato. Good job, man. Oh. When you're here, everything that we do is fun for them. 
their drawer by Satch Green. So I had a lot of fun with this, a lot more fun than I thought. Um, it was a lot more intense than I thought it was gonna be. Even though I kind of knew shit, the shit that was gonna happen, I had it a bit spoiled for me. But it was great. It really was. Oh. Goodbye, Yuri. Um, Jilly Nashcraft. Good job to Jilly Nashcraft. Um, okay, that's kind of creepy. That's a, cre a, cre a creepy picture. Is it love? If I take your is it love? If I set you free? Aw, oh, hey girls! The ink flows down into a dark puddle How can I write love into reality? If I can't hear the sound of your heart Oh hey Monica, what's up? Special thanks to Monica and Mah. Hell yeah! In your reality, if I don't know how to love you. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, I wanted to do something different for October. Um, I knew this was a horror game. Um, I didn't want to do something crazy long because one, my TNO series usually go pretty long anyway, and two. Oh, this is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is a truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For a time, for the time at last, I wanted to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of our club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Please reinstall the game. Okay. And it crashed. But yeah, I really enjoy that. I, I didn't think I would. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a GTA 5 series sometime soon. I don't know if it'll be up soon after this, but I did GTA 5. My TNO series is, usually take a while. So I want to do something that I thought would be shorter. I don't know if it's actually gonna, going to be shorter. Because I, 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 I spent a... F I'll have to check out the parts, see how long this ends up being. But... We'll wait and see. Um, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you want to see some stuff like this in the future, I'm not going to do visual novels. Well, I had a segment, and I recorded like the first episode of like a "What the fuck am I doing with my life?" Where, like I play like random dating sims. I did one for like Colonel the Colonel Sanders game. It's been in the archives for a while. I don't know if I'll upload it or not. But I had fun with it. I had fun with this, and if you want me to do stuff that's not TNO related or strategy game related or anything like that, go ahead and tell me in the comments section below. I want to do different stuff. I really do. Um, I had fun with this. Um, it was really different. Um, I apologize if a lot of jokes were, jokes were just kind of crude. Um, I don't know, I'm the type of guy who always tries to figure out something funny, and a lot of this game gave me a lot of opportunities to make a lot of jokes, which I appreciate, but, you know, it's not your type of humor, I get it, and I, I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah. If you enjoyed the series, do tell me, by the way. Um, this is gonna be, this has been recorded in one big block, so I can't really take in feedback or anything, but I appreciate, um, any of you who have stuck through to this point. I really do. Um, like, dislike, that usual stuff. Um, comment section, section, check out my Patreon, my Discord, my Twitch down in the description box below to keep up with me. And, uh, yeah, that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you as always for watching. My name has been Dogwood333, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.